Al-Qaeda killers continue to wreak havoc all over the world, but the Obama administration has badly damaged the terror organization by using predator drone missiles. Now the ACLU is trying to help Al-Qaeda avoid the missile strikes. We will have a special factor investigation. Let those who observe from different organizations, let them evaluate whether or not they think it is racially motivated. The far left defending Congresswoman Waters and Congressman Rangel saying the ethics problems they have are an attack on black leadership. We'll take a look at that. Not since Shogun have I seen somebody fall on a bigger sword. And Dennis Miller has some thoughts on the mosque ground zero controversy. Uh-oh. Hide the kids. Caution. You are about to enter the no-spin zone. The factor begins right now. Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. The ACLU now actively aiding al-Qaeda. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points Memo. This is an amazing story that you most likely will see nowhere else but the factor. As you may know, President Obama and CIA Chief Leon Panetta have wreaked havoc in the ranks of al-Qaeda by using predator drone missiles to attack terrorists all over the world. The strategy has been very effective and has decimated the al-Qaeda leadership. Obama and Panetta are patriots for their actions. But the far left opposes using the drone attacks, and now the ACLU has filed a backdoor lawsuit to try to stop the campaign. Please follow me closely here. This man, Anwar al Awlaki has been designated a global terrorist by the U.S. government. That means he is a prime target. Lockheed is a terrorist. Uh, and yes, he's a U.S. citizen, but he is first and foremost a terrorist, and we're going to treat him like a terrorist. We don't have an assassination list, but I can tell you this, we have a terrorist list, and he's on it. Enter the ACLU, which has applied to represent Alki in any court proceedings that might occur. That application has not been acted upon by the U.S. government, so the ACLU is suing in federal court, saying the terrorists and others like him are being denied due process because they are attacked by U.S. authorities without warning. In other words, the ACLU wants designated terrorists to be given rights before any action is taken against them. If the ACLU succeeds, that would limit predator drone targets it is simply unbelievable. Now, the ACLU has always been a far-left outfit, but is actively aiding terrorists, actively helping al-Qaeda thugs who kill people all over the world. The ACLU and other far-left groups simply will not acknowledge there's a war going on. They see terrorism as criminal activity, not a military battle. If the ACLU had its way, President Obama and CIA Chief Panetta would not be allowed to launch the predator attacks. So I ask you, how many Americans do you believe support the ACLU's actions? 5%, maybe 10? But you don't hear a word in the media about the ACLU's subversive activities, even when they are trying to help the al-Qaeda leadership. In a free society, there's nothing we can do. The ACLU has a right to exist, but I have a right to expose it. That organization is putting every single American in danger. It is disgraceful. And that's a memo. Now, for the top story tonight, reaction with us, Scott Fenstermaker, criminal defense attorney who has represented several detainees being held at Guantanamo Bay. So, of course you disagree with me on this. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. You don't want drone attacks on these people, correct? I don't want drone attacks on uh, Mr. al Laki, and I don't want drone attacks in Pakistan. They're illegal, and it's a, it's right. a contravention. So you law. don't want, you want that weapon taken away from the United States. You don't want drone attacks in Pakistan where the al-Qaeda leadership is believed to be and you don't want this guy al laki being attacked anywhere right I, want, I, I just want to be clear I want any illegal actions by the United States government to be stopped right. yes. but it, it it has not been ruled illegal by anybody but you Mr. Fenstermaker uh, you. well I don't know that there's been uh, no it hasn't been ruled illegal by anybody been, but you I don't know that it's been adjudicated by any uh, tribunal okay but there's all, no so. one but you have called this illegal right? I don't you know think and that's since correct. you don't really hold any power that's your opinion. Now, President Obama and Panetta, as you saw, yes. all right, they're going to continue to do this kind of thing. What I don't understand is, if you say it's illegal to attack the enemy by air, and that's what this is, then is it illegal to attack them by ground? Could we send uh, commandos after Awlaki and shoot him in the head? Could we do that? 
Well, I, first of all, I disagree with you that they're necessarily the enemy. I mean, you've defined them as the enemy. Okay, you don't believe Al Qaeda is the enemy of the United States? For, I don't know that Mr. Al Laki is part of Al Qaeda. I don't know that okay. he's part, part of Al Qaeda. That's what Leon Panetta says he is. Okay, well, he's 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 part of the American uh, War Ministry. Yes. Okay, he's part. So Leon Panetta is part of the American War Ministry. Yes. But you, Councillor Fenstermaker, you don't believe that this is a, a terrorist, this guy. I don't know. I haven't seen any. Oh, you don't know, but I, you don't believe President Obama and CIA Chief Panetta. You don't believe either of those men when they say he is a terrorist. You don't believe that. Uh, I don't think that they've proven that he is. But they have proven he is to you, to anybody. To anybody. anybody. They've offered no proof okay. whatsoever. They've shown right. nothing. So that you don't believe unless there's proof, direct proof sent to your home, that the president. At the commander in chief of the armed forces and the head of the CIA have any right to take any action against it unless you get per direct proof the guy's a terrorist. Well, I think when the United States government is waging war against civilians, I think it's problematic in the first place. But, but all Al Qaeda are civilians. Uh, perhaps. No, there's no perhaps about it. Al Qaeda are civilians. They're not attached to any army. There's so all of them are. So you say that the United States has, can't fight Al Qaeda. We can't. Uh, I, I think that our, our battles with Al Qaeda are ne not necessarily well directed. Let's put it that way. But no, no, no. But I don't want to get into that rhetoric. Are you saying we can't attack them because they don't have a military uniform? You're saying we can't take them out? Can can look commandos? Can they go into Pakistan and shoot them? Uh, I don't know that they're in Pakistan, but okay. I, I, can they go into Pakistan if they're there and shoot them? I think that would be largely up to the Pakistani government. I think largely. Pa up to, but the, so the Americans, in your opinion, can't shoot Al Qaeda in Pakistan. Cannot. I don't think Al Qaeda is posing any threat to us now, as far as oh, I know. Oh, so you, Councillor Fenstermaker, don't think Al Qaeda is posing a threat. Did you think Al Qaeda posed a threat before 9 11? Uh, I wasn't very familiar with Al Qaeda before okay. 9 11. But now, 10 years later, you don't think they pose a threat to us? You don't think Al Qaeda is trying to kill Americans? I don't think that Al Qaeda is a symptom, it's not the threat. It's okay. a symptom. You, so, no, I just want to get straight. So you don't think Al Qaeda wants to kill you? So if you were wandering around Waziristan and they grabbed you, you would be surprised? I think that I'm probably a bad example. I'm probably quite a hero to Al Qaeda. Well, <laughs> based on this interview, I, I think you're right. But I don't really think they care. I think that you're an American, and if they could get you, they'll cut your head off. I don't think you have the first idea of what you're talking about. Okay. Why would you say that? Why would you say I don't have any? Because idea? I don't. Have you ever spoken to anybody from Al Qaeda? Uh, I've been to Afghanistan. I've been to Iraq. I've seen, you know, pretty much uh, everything there is to see on the battlefield. I've seen the directives that the U.S. military intelligence has. I'm pretty up to speed on this. You've sh you've seen what the American and Israeli propaganda ministries want you to see. Okay. So. But you know differently. You can show me things that counter. Leon Panetta's assessment that this man's a terrorist. You can show me that he isn't. Oh, I certainly could, but uh, the United States government isn't going to allow that to happen. Well, I, I will. Bring it on. What can you show me? that, well, that I'll, I'll lack you. This guy, you say he's not a threat to anybody. He's just an innocent guy, this guy. What I'm saying is I don't know that he is. You don't know. Okay. But if, you won't take the word of President Obama and the CIA chief. Oh, absolutely not. No. Absolutely not. You wouldn't take the word of any American. I would not take the word of anybody connected with the United States or Israeli governments at all, period. Okay. Now, do you feel that you're a loyal American by making that statement that everybody is corrupt? Everybody's a bad guy at the, in the highest levels of the U.S. government. Are you, I, I don't are think you, I said that anybody was corrupt. Well, you wouldn't right? take anybody's word. I wouldn't take their word. I'd like to see the evidence. Okay. I'd like to speak to them. So before you support any action against anybody, you have to have direct evidence. Well, my support, as you pointed out, I'm not in a position of power, so my support means nothing. Okay. Well, you know, your opinion is interesting because you do represent some of these guys in Guantanamo I Bay. used to. I no longer do. But All I right. Used to. But you would if called? Uh, no, I actually would not. No? You'd bail out of that? Uh, I, I would not represent anybody in any tribunal run by the United States or Israeli governments when, okay. when it has to do with terrorism. All right. Because they're a sham. Well, we appreciate you being honest, Mr. Fenstermaker. Thanks sure. for coming You're in. You're welcome. Thank you. Next on the rundown, a woman.